Hello, I'm Tom Scully from Pole Fishing Magazine and I'm joining Nick Palmer today from Real Ideas. And what he's demonstrating to me is his Clever Claw Mark II. It's a system that's sort of proven, isn't it, Nick? It's been on the go for, for quite a while, but I know you have made some improvements to it. You say it's the Mark II, so yep. it's, it's a wider, it's V-shaped arm giving support on both sides of the pole. Right, so it's obviously something yeah. that's, that that's a lot of people use and it, it seems to work well. The feedback's 100%. Yeah the beauty of this setup it does automatically release doesn't it that's right yeah at any point in time that i decide that i want the pole back now in my control now yeah. whether that's when i get a fish on yeah. or i just decide that i want it back in my control i push down and it springs undone that's brilliant so I just turn push together that's engage the claw and it's that upward pressure from your pole keeping it firmly locked got you so the fish is on yeah. push down with my elbow claws springs released off. And that's that spring mechanism you talked about, isn't it? Releasing. Yeah, stainless steel spring just puts it through 180. I'll, have to, net. Oh, I'll have to bring my uh, bigger net next time and come, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lovely fish. Flipping it, Nick. Let's just lift that right up. Linking it, that is £10, isn't it? Nice looking fish. Cracking. I notice you've got um, something around your pole there, what's that? Well, that's my twister pole rig hookups. Just hook your hook on them, like so, without an elastic pulled out. To, when oh, you want to start fishing, you just twist those little two little loops apart, right. take it off, put it down, start fishing with that section. And what happens if you want, um, want it down here, if you've got a deeper rig? We use different sizes. Oh, In right, every okay. pack, there's seven different sizes, ranging from your shortest rig that you could ever imagine using, Yep. going right down onto the biggest red colour, which right. goes right down onto number four section. I mean, of course, the great thing, I think we've already mentioned it when we talked about seat bags, but the fact that it does just literally screw into any bank stick means that it quite literally will fit onto any system, won't it? It'll fit onto any system, and I have known people who actually put it on bank sticks. And then there's uh, the setup, another setup from a seat box, but using a bump bar or spray, ah, right. spray bar, which So people... you won't even need to rest it on your leg? can do everything. Yeah, pretty versatile to say the least. Obviously Nick, you just showed us what the Clever Claw can do for people wanting to fish a long pole, but this is a very different application for it. You're fishing a feeder here, aren't you, with this? You need one of these method feeder rests. Yeah. The reel goes in front of the rest yeah. to deliver the upward pressure that keeps the claw locked. There we go. So Quick. that, that feed has gone round Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a fish on that and that's there's just a fish holding it in place. That's holding it in place. I mean, that's really going now, isn't it? Right, now I need to release the claw and we're in. Lovely job. Well, we've seen, I've seen it all now, Nick. Not only can you use a clever claw to help your fish get big long lengths of pole, but you can use it to, uh, to act as a very, very good feeder rest. And I mean, in today's sort of uh, current climate where, you know, these sort of self-hooking methods are so popular, like the method feeder, pellet feeder, etc., you know, it really is a, a great commodity to have because, you know, there, there are a lot of other meals get lost every year at the end of the day, aren't there? I don't think there's many anglers that you do this type of fishing that haven't had their rods pulled in. No, I think you're right. They're lively, it, aren't they? So it, fit, these fish. He's itching to get back in the water, isn't he? He is, isn't he? Another nice yep. fish. They're sort of six, six pound, is he, probably? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Well done. What a lovely, lovely way to end the day. <laughs>